to expect with him. How about a big round of applause for Ken Boring? That's exactly how I came out of my mother's womb. <laughs> Boy, where to start? Well, I'm originally from my mom. <laughs> and, oh, I know what I want to share with you. I recently have finally finished my very first book. Yeah. Isn't that great? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm quite proud of myself. I was so excited that uh, next week I'm thinking about reading another one. <laughs> I am a licensed LPN. That's lowest paid nurse. You guys are not familiar with that. On the planet. And I'm charged with doing various duties such as obtaining vital signs, conducting assessments, and inserting suppositories. <laughs> Boy, you gotta be careful of that foil wrapper, man. Make sure you take that thing off. <laughs> it's twice now for me, I forget that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, that's rough. I'll tell you what else is rough is the first place I got a job out of nursing school. Man, this place was brutal. They stored the bedpans in the refrigerator. I'm serious, in the problem patients? Yeah, theirs came out of the freezer. Unbelievable. Yeah. My first day there, they stick me in the memory unit, although I don't remember why. I walk in and who do I see? My old high school bandmaster, Mrs. Little, couldn't believe it. Gave her a big hug. Said, do you know who I am? She said, well, no, no, sir, I don't. But if you ask the nurse down the hall, she'll tell you who you are. <laughs> and then, of course, there's always assessments, and those are, and admissions, they're uh, fun. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty cool with admissions because you get to, what you get to do is you get to read somebody's entire history and learn so much about them just by reading their bio. I admitted this guy about two weeks ago. He was an uh, undercover Secret Service agent. He was an uh, uh, airline pilot. He was a colonel in the United States Army, special forces, multiple tours in Vietnam. I looked at his wife and said, what is there that this guy has not done? She said, well, for first off, he hasn't done a bowel movement in about a week. <laughs> and uh, he's got the worst case of gas I've ever had, ever smelled. Think you can help him with that? I'll get right on it. So. Yeah, unbelievable working in this field, so. And what is it with seniors and gas anyway? It's a mystery, isn't it? I mean, really it is. I'm here to tell you right now that all the medication carts across this great nation of ours and probably around the world, every one of them are overflowing with Digel, Beano, and Gasex. I'm serious, they are, I'm not kidding you. And ladies, I don't hate to break it to you, but uh, you seem to be the worst case there. Seriously, I mean, these ladies are motorboating up and down these uh, hallways all day long. I hear this one day, I hear this noise, I look out of my, uh, I look out of the nurse's station, look outside, of course it's Peg, right, and she's probably one of her top three bean blowers. I look outside, I swear to God, I look at her, she's going like this down the hallway. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. I'm like, what the hell is that? I thought somebody lost a wheel off their walker or something. Seriously, unbelievable. But you know what, in all seriousness, folks, I gotta be honest with you. Everybody in here is probably going to, we're going to have to deal with older age. We get there, and it's absolutely nothing to be really too embarrassed about, right, or ashamed of just growing old. It's just a natural process we go through, right? I mean, in all honesty, you, <laughs> it just happens to the best of us. You don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know how long it's going to be there. What are you going to do, right? I mean, hey, the mere fact that most of us are probably going to, what? Lose our hair, right? We're going to lose our hair and what? Our hearing, along with our vision. Thank you, that's right. I'm probably already there, right? And our teeth and our muscle mass and our bone density and finally your bowels and bladder. What's that leave you, right? Nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. I hope nobody here already has that because I'm in big trouble if that's, a tr if that's the case. <laughs> That's my ad lib, I guess. So at any rate, hey, I got a chance recently to look at my crystal ball, and what do you think I saw? 
Holy Jesus, that's a whole entire trailer park. How'd you guys get here? Short bus, that's how I got here. You guys here for bingo? Huh? I can't hear you. Are you here for bingo? Yeah. All right, well, then follow me. <laughs> Just stepping on a duck. Just stepping on a duck. I was a Canadian duck there. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are great. What do you think? Hey, here's his shirt. He's going to be signing that afterwards. Now, here's the kooky part that you're not going to believe. Ken is also available for children's parties. So keep that. 